Welcome back. It's to Plots Politics. We are moving straight to the second topic of the day, where we are looking at the accusation against Murik. A former Minister of Aviation, Femi Fani Kayode, has called for an investigation into the allegations against the Muslim rights concern, Murik. The Islamic group was accused of receiving money from the Islamic State of West Africa province, ISWAP. While responding to this, the director, Professor Ishak Akintola, denied receiving any money from any terrorist group in or outside Nigeria and described the allegation as illogical and a wicked concussion. Joining us to discuss this is the man himself who responded to that accusation, Professor Ishak Akintola, the director of MURIC. That's MURIC stands for Muslim Rights concern. And uh, also joining us in this conversation is a security expert from Abuja, that's uh, Kabil Adamu. Good evening, gentlemen. Good evening. Good evening. Uh, yeah, good to have you. Let me start with Prof uh, to expatiate more on his response. Uh, I, as much as every Nigerian saw this as a very, 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 I, I emphasize, strong uh, allegation and I looked at your document, but for the benefit of Nigerians, can you explain your clear reaction to that accusation? In the first place, the group that accused us um, is not based in Nigeria. According to the report, it's based in, uh, in Mali. Mali, yeah. The man is a former security intelligence intelligence chief in Mali. And I wonder how he came about the name Murik. We don't operate outside Nigeria at all. We've never done. And I want to su suppose that um, the, the name of this group, Sahara Strategy Group, SSG, is coming up for the first time. It's unknown anywhere in West Africa. It's unknown in Nigeria. We search in Google, that group doesn't exist. And of course, we didn't know, uh, 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 initially nobody knew where the post came from. Until in one, uh, in one post there was a Yoruba name. We searched, you know, search for the name, Akelade, today. It reveals the name of a major in the Nigerian army. We want behind the big lie to come out into the open, like men, not a coward, hidden. Murik is an Islamic organization whose motto is dialogue, not violence. For the first time in the history of Nigeria, we have an Islamic organization whose focus is human rights, and, who, and which vows to avoid violence in all its activities. We've been on ground since 1994. We have never been involved in violence. We have always condemned Boko Haram, ISIS, ISWAP. So it is illogical that if ISWAP is going to give anybody money, it can never be more because we have always uh, opposed them, we've criticized them, we've always condemned killing. How can we be associated with uh, blood soccer? Those who kill women and children, those who uh, attack diplomatic institutions like the United Nations, those who give Nigeria bad name. It is a wicked lie okay. from the pit of Jahannam. And this and Fanika Ade has no it, it, Fanika Ade doesn't have the reputation to speak to Nigeria asking for investigation into what well, uh, into the allegation. We are asking also for investigation into those who brought the allegation. Is there any group called Sahara Sahara Strategies? A strategy group. This is a lie concocted by enemies of Islam, those who hate Muslims, 
People like Sanitary Day. Okay. Um, we'll come back to you, Prof. Uh, I, 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 uh, you actually captured the detail of that letter, but we'll get into some details later. And uh, let me talk to Kabiru. Uh, I'm not trying to preempt your response, but I just want you to help us through more light. Prof is in the eye of the whole issue. So but let's hear an outsider who probably will make sense of this. Now, the report is being described to have come from... Um, uh, you know, an intelligentsia, so to say, who, and from the way he, he captured it, you will almost believe that this man has an insight about what is going on in Nigeria, because he did say that uh, Boko Haram is not so popular in the South, that it's popular in the North, and uh, Murik is being accused of recruiting, you know, the Northerners to be part of this thing. So, how do you make such strong allegation from uh, probably security intelligence, so to say? Um, in the world of um, international um, espionage and intelligence, um, this type of things are quite common. Um, sometimes uh, to achieve a certain strategic objective, or unfortunately sometimes to destroy in order to find um, the you know, loophole as it were to achieve another objective. Um, irrespective of what the reasons are, it is a very grave allegation um, that sparks packs of terrorism. Um, now, any group, irrespective of whether that group is a religious group, a social, social group or political group that is accused of terrorism, then unfortunately it will be in the, on, in the eye of the storm as Murik is in the eye of the storm at the moment. Now, the good, the good news is this, and this is um, perhaps an advice to, to Prof. Um, monies in today's world are transferred through um, means that are traceable, especially the amount that is being mentioned. We are talking of 200,000 US dollars. If $200,000 is, um, is moved from whatever account, irrespective of where it is in the world, it is traced. And in our case, in the case of Nigeria, the NFIU uh, is usually there to trace the movement of that money. So I think the onus is on the accusing party to show clearly how that 200,000 was moved from wherever it was it was moved to the, the accounts of Murik. Um, we know that in the intelligence world, there are different ways of using money. If it was through the formal means, then it was from an account to another account. If, however, it is not through the formal means, then there are other means through which the money was moved. But the onus is on the person making the accusation to, to clarify that. Now, having said that, given the, the significance of the accusation, I think there is a need for the Nigerian government in particular to come in, as well as international bodies, because 200,000 US dollars can do a lot of damage. And so um, it is only proper for an investigation to be conducted and if at the end of the investigation it is proven that the allegation is spurious, it is not based on any fact, then the person making that accusation would need to be answered to the law due to the consequences of that accusation. Okay. But at this stage, all I can say is that it is a grave accusation that merits um, okay. further investigation. Uh, thank you. Prof, let's quickly look at this. I, I, I'm, I'm aware, I'm speaking as an individual that uh, there's been a cold war, sort of, war of words between Murik or your person and that of Fanny Coyote. And can we look at the message? And the message seems to tally with what Mr. Kabiru had said. He asked, why, why don't you allow investigation so that it will be clear to the doubting Thomas that Murik does not receive money from any terror group? Why do we need to castigate the, the, the demand for investigation. And probably I should also put it on record. We also tried to reach out to Fanny Coyote to also come and expatiate on what he meant, but it's not reachable for now. But so let, let me have your take on looking at the message rather than the messenger. Actually, there's no message. Hmm. Murik is a poor organization, I repeat. We don't have money. We've never seen anything like $200,000. We don't receive dollars. We don't receive any money from outside Nigeria. 
Muri has no connection with Iswa, Aisi, or Boko Haram. How hypocritical would, 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 it, would it look for Muri, the same Muri that used to condemn Boko Haram, condemn Al Qaeda, to now go and seek money from, to go and receive blood money for that matter? It is insulting. Okay. It is uh, it, 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 it's too it's too paradoxical. Somebody, a group that has always condemned the terrorists to now hobnob with them, collect money from them. Yes, our account is there for anybody to to check. But of course, he who called to whatever must come with clean hands. Those who are asking that would it be investigated must also be investigated hmm. regarding their connection with this case. Invest we must find out where is Sahara strategy group. We must find out what is Panikai of this connection with Sahara strategy group. That group doesn't exist. Let me tell you, two months ago, another fake Islamic group accused Muri of collecting 50 million naira from, uh, from the Fulani group, Fulani Caliphate in Nigeria, with the aim of destabilizing Yoruba land. This issue is connected with the Odudua Republic, which they want to pursue. And Muri has stood up and said, no, Nigeria should not be divided. We don't need the Odudua Republic. Muslims are being persecuted in Yoruba land. And Muri is standing up against the oppressor, confronting them and saying, no, this is illegal, unconstitutional, unlawful. If you are persecuting us while we are still in Nigeria, you are persecuting us in Yoruba land, how can, you, how can we support you to go into Odudua Republic? Because of that, they have branded us and labeled us Taken to the Fulani, servants or slaves of the Fulani, and because of because of the same reason, for the same reason, they have concocted this story. What they mean to do is to blackmail us, silence us, because we are the defenders of the oppressed. We are the voice of the voice of the voiceless in this country. Prof, we are trying to. Prof, let me let me stay with you before I go back to Mr. Kabiru. Um. Probably you're not aware, I'm just trying to give you a feedback. Some of the things some people have against you is that why do you why does he have to be fighting for the Muslims? Why don't you fight for the oppressed, irrespective of religion? Some people accuse you of being a fanatic. They believe that probably that's what gave you know rise to some they of the don't people. Have any business acute. They don't have any business asking why we should be fighting for Muslims. We are Muslims. So why shouldn't we fight for Muslims? What's their business in asking that question? Why are they oppressing Muslims? You are begging, you are begging the issue. The question should be, are Muslims being oppressed or not? People, you know, Muslims today you know, are You know you're a prof, so I'm not, I'm not going to argue. Because they use a job. I'm just saying that I, I also believe you also fight for the oppressed, irrespective of their religious uh, uh, affiliation, right? Yes, it is our right. It's our right to fight for the oppressed, okay. to speak for the voiceless. But in particular, we are Muslim, and this organization was formed, named Muslim Right from Sun. Okay, thank you very much. And we have the right to defend our given and fundamental human rights of Muslims. I'll, is that why we should be blackmailed? Is that why we should be given names? Is that why they should turn us into terrorists? Okay, thank you so much. I, I, I will come back to you. It is not connected with this rumor. If it did, it is related. I will, I will, Let I will. them investigate those behind or the dual republic. Let them investigate the fire and their connection with or the dual republic. This is where we are. Okay, I, I, I will come back to you to, to round up this uh, uh, conversation. But let me quickly get to Mr. Kabiru's uh touch on this issue. Like I said, you know, they will say it is those that wear the shoe that know where it pinches. So we can understand Prof's position on this issue. But going forward, 
how do we, as a country, you know, detect whoever may be sponsoring terrorists? Because that, has, that conversation has been on for a long time. How do we detect how these terrorists have been surviving? Where do they get their funds from? This is a conversation that has been on the table. Can you please advise? Um, the mechanisms are already in place. The only perhaps equation is whether they are effective or not. Um, earlier on, I spoke about the NFIU, the Nigerian Financial Intelligence Unit. Um, today, if you go to a bank, I think for a private individual, if I'm right, it's uh, 500,000 Naira. And then for corporate organizations, maybe, I'm not sure of the amount anyway. But the point I'm trying to make is, if you do a transaction up to a certain amount as a private individual, it is traced. If you do a transaction of a particular amount for a corporate organization, it is traced. And I'm very certain that the amount is way, way, way below the 200,000 US dollars that is mentioned. For, it, for an international transaction, any transaction that you do internationally, no matter the limit, it is traced. You must state why you are making that transaction, and then the relevant agency will look It is traced or it is supposed to be traced? <laughs> Come again? It is traced or it is supposed to be traced? Well, um, in, for international transactions, I will tell you it is traced. Um, okay. to, if you have any relative, any friend in the U.S., or in Europe, send him money today. And believe me, give him time. The agencies will knock on his door. Okay. You know, um, but for Nigeria, I will use, it is supposed to be traced. Okay. Um, so I, I agree with you to an extent. But beyond that, I would like to comment on the callous um, statements by some elites, including, unfortunately, the person asking for Nurik to be investigated. He has made some very callous statements in the past. Um, I say this with all sense of responsibility as a security professional. My field that I have a doctorate in is risk management. And there are two tectonic plates that Nigeria is lying on, religion and ethnicity. This particular accusation targeting Murik is um, affecting one of those tectonic plates, which is religion, and in, a, in an area where religion unfortunately has been quite um, docile if I use that word. Um, the model that Western Nigeria is, has used to, um, for tolerance is something that is exemplary worldwide. Now there is an attempt to break that model. And I think the Nigerian state as a whole needs to investigate fully this accusation. Firstly, investigate um, that um, consultancy or whatever it calls itself, a stra as a st health strategy group, investigate it clearly. Now, secondly, if there are facts that it has to support that accusation, then investigate that. And then if, of course, there is a transfer from wherever to Murik of 200,000 US dollars, Murik must explain what those monies are and what, why it collected that money. If, however, there is no transfer of such nature, then the Nigerian state as a whole must use its power to descend on that organization that made that okay. serious accusation. For okay. the simple reason that the tectonic plates that Nigeria lies on, ethnicity and religion, is being attacked. Okay. And how we handle this, as it were, would determine the, the outcome okay. of this accusation. Kabiru. Already beyond Fanikayo, I've seen several other um, social, cultural, okay. and ethnic Thank you groups, so much. Um, calling for an investigation. Uh, my time is really fast spent. Thank you for your time. But, but let me quickly get the prof for a closing remark. And uh, I hope he has covered some of the things Mirik is asking for. So I'm just asking prof to clean it up. Uh, are you for me now? Yeah, I'm for you, sir. Just yes, to ask what exactly you're asking for. Maybe in the next Murik is support, Murik support investigation. But the investigation has to be comprehensive. We, are we don't have any quickly. We have only one bank account. Murik has only one bank account. And we have never had such huge money. We don't have five million. We don't have six. We don't even have three. Two months ago, we were begging to pay salaries of our staff. This is very wicked. It was Nigerian Muslims, grassroots Muslims, whom we like. People started donating 2,000, 
1,000 naira, 5,000 naira. A student from a six-year-old boy submitted 500 naira. Hmm. It's true. Moving, highly inspiring. They started assisting us because they saw that we were performing and okay. yet we are poor. Okay. Thank you so, so much. What is wrong? Is there any, any crime you have committed? Well, I, our members support us I do with not their think contribution. So. It is done in the court. Thank you so much, Prof. Thank you for your insight. That's Professor Ishak Akintola, the director of Muric. I mean, of Muslim rights concern. Thank you for your time. And once again, thank you, Kabiru, uh, for your insight. And uh, we hope that uh, this issue will be thoroughly investigated and very, very comprehensively done, as <coughs> both of you have asked for. Yeah. And to our viewers, uh, we'll take a short break now. And when we return, I'll be giving you my take. Please don't go anywhere. Here is my take, especially it has to do with the delisting of the 22 political parties. As this adjudication proceeds to the APS court, there are fundamental issues that the court may not be the resolution house, but the people. Yes, there is freedom of association. Yes, it is the right of anyone of voting age with necessary conditions to vote and be voted for. It is the right of a group of people to provide a viable alternative to the two main political parties. However, it is also incumbent of these parties to be more deliberate in their strategies to achieve these goals rather than making up numbers and flashing the title of former candidates and former aspirants. It is incumbent on these fellows to do proper opposition in and out of election period. Therefore, I submit that if there is no seriousness in these parties, they can as well not waste the time of Nigerians with long list of political parties with title or zero impact on the electorate. And that's all for today. Thank you for staying with us. Plus Politics returns tomorrow, same time. Until then, stay safe and have a good evening. I am Coyote. Lada Indi, saying bye for now.